So I was just listening to this podcast, and, um, you know, there's a couple things about addiction that are completely just bullshit that the doctors and people have just basically passed on as scientific fact, and there's very little to no evidence that addiction doesn't run in people's families, okay? Every person, every human, addiction runs in humans, okay? And but what, what I mean is, well, my aunt, you know, she's not addicted to stuff. Let me just tell you, maybe she hasn't found the fucking right drug yet, okay? Like, maybe um, shoot her full of fentanyl and see how much she likes it. Or maybe give her a couple bumps of coke. I guarantee you there's <laughs> drugs. It's like a buffet in Las Vegas. There's something for everybody, okay? I was, when I was younger, I used to think, man, how do people get hooked on drugs? You know, at that time, I've never done coke. I've never done heroin. I've never done this. I've never done that. I've, I've smoked weed and you know, um, did mushrooms and acid. So, the thing is, is, and then when they say that, oh, we have the gene for alcoholism, there is no gene for drugs. There's no, or you could go when you were a baby and they, your parents get you a fucking brain scan when you're like three years old or five years old or 10 years old and go, well, do you think he's going to be a drug addict? I don't know. Let's give it, let's see if he's got the gene or let's take his DNA and run it through a fucking mass, whatever, what I don't know the fucking machine is called right now, spectrometer or whatever. Um, you know, and that's probably not the correct scientific term for that, but, um, you know, so it's just like everybody has has uh, the potential to be addicted, whether it's pornography, whether it's food, whether it's, you know, like opiates or some things just hit people. Like, I don't understand gambling. <clears throat> I don't understand it at all. I don't understand pornography. You know what I mean? But I know people that are addicted to them, you know, and just like I was addicted or I am, you know, because you never get unaddicted, you know, um, to uh, opiates. So I just, you know, I was listening to a podcast and I think doctors, especially doctors, really don't even fucking know anything about drugs. They're the ones that prescribe all this shit for people. So my thing is, you know... You just gotta stay away from, stay away from people, places, and things. Now, I won't say, I will say that, you know, the one thing I know about addiction is people that think that they're gonna get sober by themselves, me included, are absolutely bananas, okay? Because it's not gonna happen. People that think that they're gonna just go and stay away from stuff on their own and they're gonna fight it. You need to find out why you're using it, okay? You need to find out what your triggers are. You need to find out a lot of this shit has to do with stress or fucking having a girlfriend that annoys the fuck out of you, you know, or being in chronic pain. Like the past couple days, I'll be honest with you, if I had if I had a chance to get some Percocets, um, I probably, I probably would have, uh, I not probably, I would have, taken some I was in so much fucking pain you know and I have the money to buy them but I just said to myself it's never enough you know what I mean like now my back feels okay tough it out blah, 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 blah. once I find out where to get them then I'm gonna want them when you know my work stresses me out or my this or my that and then going to the gym or staying healthy goes right out the fucking window